For Christ's sake, Porter, don't you know not to give the governor bourbon? Moses, where the hell have you been? You have no sense. The governor's wife went down on her knees to me on the carpet, on the carpet, saying, whatever you do, don't let Al near the hooch. And this bare-faced liar in five minutes will be asking me for favors. I never ask favors. I ask my due. And I'll tell you one thing. He's barely spoken to my wife in his life. Ah, we speak all the time. I don't think so. She says give him soda water one an hour on the hour at the very most. My wife can't stand him. Catherine worships me. <laughs> Come here, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and while I was swimming in the brine, Go the on. governor here was swimming in bootleg whiskey, to judge from the smell of him. <laughs> Pure rye. And after the day I've had, why would that not be so? Oh, you're complaining, are oh, you? Oh, you'll be complaining of my shoes. Well, running the greatest city in the world, in the greatest state in the world, I'd be complaining? I don't think so. So? You want my job, do you? Do I want it? Yeah, do you want to be governor? Why, Al, tell me when the bus is coming and I'll be there to push you under it. You'll join a fucking line. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, governor, you... You know my team. Yeah, I believe I do. Granula, Ari. I've come upon them once or twice. Of course you have. They tell me you visit occasionally when I'm not here. Yeah, I do indeed. Dropping by to sneak oh. a look at the plans. I admire young people. Oh, they're hand-picked. And are they as crazy as you about causeways and parkways and expressways and all the other ways? <laughs> <laughs> well, they are now. I've taught them to serve the public and to free the people from ugliness and squalor, to give them a view of something better than the animal cages in which they live. We'll leave you alone. No, stay with us.